Welcome back everybody to part three of this video where we are going to continue working on this project. Chase has a screwdriver, he's all ready to go. We are gonna cut through these staples along the whole edge of the boat. This is keeping the boat, the top of the boat to the bottom of the boat. I'm gonna remove the top cover of the boat because it's a separate piece and I am going to eventually flip the boat over. It will be definitely lighter without the top and have better access to the transom so that I can replace the rotten wood in the transom and hopefully that will be uh, an easier process than just cutting out the back. But we're heading to Home Depot to get some saws. Oscillating saws. Oscillating saws. It's busted. <laughs> That's front. Back. Sweet. The plan is to cut through this as well as the fiberglass mold on the other side. <laughs> Jace, what are you doing? Anyways, let's see how this baby works. Okay, so I cut through all the staples along the edges here. The oscillating saw. It worked really well. Um, can't really see it, but... Uh, yeah, I just went along this crack. Cut all the staples that are holding the molding together here. You can see the staples going through. Um, I tried taking them out by hand, but it was way too difficult. It took like 10, 15 minutes per staple and I was damaging the fiberglass as I was going along. So I picked up this oscillating saw and it worked really well. Highly recommend it. The next step to this is cutting the, the fiberglass bond on the other side of this lip. So there's a fiberglass bond that's holding, holding the rest of the, um, the top of the boat on. I have uh, cut through the entire seam. You can't really you can't really see it, but anyways, you can, I've cut the entire seam around the whole entire boat uh, using a jigsaw, as you can see in some of the footage. The only problem is, uh, as it comes around here, down into this lip, um, the fiberglass molding goes down this uh, outline through here and up here. So. I was not able to cut that quite yet because it comes up. Yeah, sorry you can't see this, but I'll show you in the next video. Um, but I'm going to call it a night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back, everybody. I will continue working on the boat today. I will try to get the rest of those cuts down that I was talking about last night. Right up along this edge, I think I'm going to have to cut it up in there 
So, and I'm also going to be removing that board on the back of the transom. Start cutting that out and I will see how that goes. So we got that piece of wood out. It's a little bit of rot to it. When I replace this board, I'll probably replace it with like a two by six. Give it a bit of extra support. Let me just show you under here. Now that the board is out, it'll give you a little bit of access. Now I need to cut all along this ridge. right up to the very end and then hopefully after I cut through this all all this fiberglass I can uh, pull the whole top off the boat okay everybody I am coming at this at a new approach this is what I'm gonna do next I'm going to cut along this here I'm gonna remove this lip and then hopefully uh, get down with the oscillating saw blade down here along try to free this edge because I think this edge is keeping the back from popping off. Well, it's the next day and I am finally through. I had to cut this out with a Sawzall last night. The whole back part was glued or fiberglassed on, so I had a long enough blade where I could cut it cut through this whole back section. It was pretty, pretty rough go. Uh, the wood is definitely rotten. As I was as I was cutting, I was digging into the side of the transom, and all, all this all this rotten, fluffy wood was coming up, jamming the blade. So it was a very, very tough, slow process. Um, yeah, so that's the update. But now I can finally take the top off the boat, which is great. It's all free, all free. So I'm gonna clean up all the fiberglass shavings, to rinse the boat down and then remove the top. Okie dokie, so the top is off. Look at that. Fancy. <sighs> Next part, we are gonna take all this out. Well, actually, I'm probably gonna take all this out. You guys wanna take it out? Oh gosh. A lot of fiberglass, eh? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. And then, on, as well, look at this transom. Now I have full access. Oh wow, that's why it was so hard to cut last night. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, and I destroyed this. Uh, I'll have to get a new one of those. <laughs> but uh, we can now, oh yeah, check that out. Mint. I don't know if I'm gonna take this floor out. I'll probably just rip the whole floor out. <laughs> Shocker. that's it for this video in part four i will be probably cutting out the floor i might even start cutting in the middle here and then seeing what's underneath seeing what's underneath the floor i'll probably cut here along here because this is where the floor is attached and this part is the fiberglass um i don't know how far up i'll go definitely start in the back where i have found rot in the wood um, and then see how bad it is as it continues going to the front of the boat well, that's what I'll be starting in part four and that will probably not be out in a day or two like I said in my last video make sure you like and subscribe maybe turn on your notifications so that you don't fall behind on the project because you don't want to miss out. Let me tell you, this is this is going to be pretty epic when it's finished. And there's going to be a lot of cool things to come. Just you wait. As of right now, I'm going to clean up all of my tools, clean up the rest of the front lawn, and I will see you guys in part four. Have a good day. Oh! Like and subscribe. Lose all my subscribers overnight. <laughs> she was like, 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 she was like